Welcome to a sculpture for a small planet. The sun is by far the best way for you to heat your pool. It's fast, it's cheap, and it's greenhouse gas neutral. In this video, I'm going to go over three different types of solar heat for your pool. And I'm also going to go over five different tips to make that solar heat work for you as fast, cheap, and easy as possible. I have been experimenting with different ways to heat pools for eight years. I've tried all kinds of things. Some homemade and some commercial like this heat pump, which was way too slow and way too expensive. The setup I have now allows for us to swim five months out of the year. Not bad for the Northeast. Come over and show me the thermometer. What's it say? 90. 90? That's like not even refreshing. The cheapest and easiest and most effective is a solar cover. The sun's heat directly goes into the pool's water. It also holds that heat in as a blanket. And more importantly, it stops the evaporation, which cools the pool just like sweat on your body, which in turn conserves the precious resource of water. Solar heat gain is all about surface area. The sun is constantly blasting the earth with about 1,370 watts of power per square meter at all times. That's equivalent to running one of these electric heaters per square meter on your pool for free. Tip number one, use a clear cover. The blue ones work super well too, but if you're buying one, I recommend clear. Want to get a sense of how well they work? Wrap yourself in some plastic and lay in the sun for a few minutes. Tip number two, make it as easy as possible to take on and off with some kind of roller upper. This way it doesn't inhibit swimming play and doesn't get neglected after the swim. The second fastest, easiest, cheapest way for you to heat your pool with the sun's energy is solar panels like these. Now these are manufactured, but you'll also see a lot of information on the coil of black pipe. They work both the same way by increasing that surface area of your pool, giving it more surface for the sun's energy to be absorbed into your pool water. Here's a visual on how increased surface area increases energy absorption. The block of ice that has been cut into five pieces has more surface area to absorb heat so it melts faster. And last but not least are these glaze panels. These babies really pump out the heat. So if you have limited space or you just wanna go with what works best, choose the glaze panels over that of the unglazed panels. The layer of glass traps the heat in just like in your car on a hot sunny day and it forces that heat into your pool water. I'm doing a video in the near future about how to make these things fast and cheap. So if you see any large pieces of glass laying around, like some old sliding doors, grab them and stay tuned. Tip number three, set up your system so it can be drained, especially if you live where it gets cold and freezes. Tip number four, tie your solar system into your regular circulation pump and filter and put it on a time clock so it comes on when the sun is shining. You have to run it anyways, so you may as well get some heat out of your electricity use. Tip number five, add a bypass manifold so you can run your circulation pump and filter with or without your solar panels. This is good for cloudy days and general maintenance. This is nice. This is how I like it. No shock to my system. So if you're looking for a fast, easy, and cheap way to heat your pool without greenhouse gas emissions, go solar. Stay tuned as well because not only am I going to do a video on how to make those solar panels, but I'm also going to do a video on how to make a wood-fired pool heater, which is part of this system to be able to keep our pool open for five months out of the year. And don't forget to check out my video, Cheap and Deep, about how I made a deep spot in this pool. Thanks for watching and good luck with all your greenhouse gas emission projects. So warm. Okay, so this is the bonus tip. Run your system in a parallel fashion as opposed to what's called a series. Now you need a, a couple of valves 
and then you just circulate it through like on cloudy days or for general maintenance or you can block this one off open this one up and open this one up then you run your water through your uh, heat collectors and it comes out and it comes down and then it warms up your pool and then and then everybody's happy